Hi everyone, welcome to today's streamcast on getting the Postman collection for the APIs in WSO2 API Manager. I am Chashik Viratung from WSO2 API Manager team. Let's get to know what is Postman collection and why we need Postman collections. So if you are working with the APIs, definitely you may heard about the Postman because Postman is a popular testing tool for the APIs. So Postman collection or test project that we can create from the Postman and it can include set of data which we need to try out our APIs. So what API 4.0 offer you? So you can directly download Postman collection for the deployed APIs in WSO2 API Manager. So this feature support for REST APIs as well as GraphQL APIs. So I will demonstrate you how to get the Postman collection and trying out the APIs. Okay, let's go to the publisher portal. You can see I already deployed two APIs. First one is REST API and second one is a GraphQL API. In the REST API, you can see the, all the resources here. These are the all the resources in this API. Okay, so first let's try out this REST API. In order to use the API, you need to go to the developer portal so here you can see the two apis in the developer portal then i am going to try out the rest api let's go to the tryout section then you can uh, see the button called postman collection so clicking the button you can directly download the postman collection for the particular api then i download the postman collection so let's open the postman tool and let's import the postman collection for this so I import the postman collection to the postman here you can see all the resources here then I'm going to try out the menu resource in a tryout you need to have a token so to get the token you need to first subscribe the API using application so I'm going to use a default application to subscribe the API then go to the API then subscription then I subscribe the API then I'm getting the token from the default application I'm generating the token then I'm going to the postman then I include the token okay so then you can simply execute the api then you can see the response like this you can simply try out the apis using the postman collection so the same as this uh, we can use this for the graphql api as well so so i'm going to subscribe this apis as well okay then uh, let's download the postman collection for the GraphQL APIs here same as the REST API you can see the postman collection button in the tryout section then I'm downloading the postman collection then I'm going to import it to the postman Here you can see the all the operations. So a special thing is in the REST API you can see the resources. In the GraphQL API you can see the operations. So here it includes all the operations. And you can see in the publisher portal also. Here you can see the all the operations. Here. Then you can uh, see the all the operations here. So I'm going to execute this as well then I'm going to use the same token because I subscribe from the same application then uh, for this one I am using this payload to get a result okay then I'm um, securing it 
then you can see the response then like this like this you can simply use the postman collection to try out your APS this is really helpful tool for the older one who family with the postman then hope you enjoyed the session hope you got something from the session then thank you very much